Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the correct method that you can use to update your graphics packs for use with CMU 1.11.4 and basically the method you should use for updating your graphics packs with all CMU versions now and into the future. Now the reason I am making this video is that in the past few days since 1.11.4 was released, a lot of people are using the improper method for updating their graphics packs and it is causing their games to either perform very poorly or it is causing their games to not load or crash on boot. Ok, let's jump across to my desktop and I'm going to show you the correct method for updating your graphics packs. Ok, so the first thing you need to do is come to this link and click this right here to download all of the latest graphics packs. I'm simply going to put mine onto my desktop and wait for them to download. So now that they've downloaded, what we need to do is extract them into a folder on our desktop. I am using 7-zip so I'm just going to select this option right here. Let's now wait for these to fully extract. Ok, so now they are fully extracted, let's just move them to here for now. This next part is what most people are doing wrong when updating their graphics packs. I'm just going to put my CMU into another separate window, open up my graphics pack folder, and what you need to do is you need to completely delete all of your old graphics packs. I cannot stress this enough that you cannot copy and paste new graphics packs over old graphics packs as graphics packs will not function correctly if you do that. Once we have fully deleted all of our old graphics packs, you need to open the new extracted folder which contains the new packs which we just downloaded and go to whatever game graphics packs you wish to download. In this use case, I'm going to be getting all of the new Breath of the Wild graphics packs. Simply select them like so, copy them and paste them across into your graphics pack folder within CMU. This is the correct method to update your graphics packs and this is exactly what you should do when you are updating in future. What I would also advise you to do is delete any graphics packs which you are not going to be using as it's simply clutter and if you're not going to be using them you don't need them anyway. Let's now load into CMU and actually turn on the graphics packs we want to be using. As usual what you do is come to options, graphics packs and once this window opens you simply click this little tick box beside the graphics packs. The graphics packs I usually use are 1920 or 2560 by 1440p graphics packs and this no depth of field graphics pack which gives me extra FPS when in combat with multiple enemies. I also use Clarity, FPS++ and LWZX Crash Workaround. If you're on Nvidia I would also advise turning on these two graphics packs as they help with visual bugs in game. Let's now load into game and make sure that everything is working as it should be. So there we go, as you can see I am successfully loaded into game through the menus with absolutely no problem whatsoever. When I load into game you will also see that my performance is absolutely perfect and I should be basically locked to 60 FPS after turning on the fence skip hack. So there we go guys, there is the correct way to update your graphics packs and add them to your newest version of CMU emulator. Hopefully this video will help you with any crashing issues that you are having with its latest version 1.11.4. As always, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.